Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part four of MVC project. In the last class we discussed about uh, admin will log in and admin will add the department details. And now admin will perform some other operations like uh, display the department details as well as edit the department details. Is it clear? So here I think we already know the concept of collections. What are collections? Collections are generally used to implement the data structures in .NET. Right. So, uh, what is the difference between collections and generics? If you want to perform operation group of objects of different type of data, then go for what? Collections. If you want to perform operations on group of objects of same type of data, you can go for generics. Generics are also called as general data types. Right. So, every collection is a predefined class, like a realist, hash table, these all are predefined classes which are implementing I enumerable interface. Is it clear? Similarly, in Genrix you are having a list collection which is implementing I enumerable of interface. This concept is required in order to work with our uh, project right now. So, so initially I will go to my database and I will create a stored procedure. Create procedure, procedure name, PROC underscore display DEPT details as begin and select start from department. So when I try to execute this one, it will display the department details. Is it clear? I will use the database. The database name is college db. Is it clear? I want to display all the department details in my front end. Here I will go to home controller.cs and within this I will declare one action method. The name of the action method I am giving as details. Right. So whenever user login with his username and password, whenever admin will login with his username and password, I want to redirect to this details space. So here I will simply give as details and initially I will go to the department.cs and here I will declare one more method. I will declare on property. So here I will declare on property in department.cs public the data type of the property, the return type of the property I will give as I enumerable of department. Is it clear? As we already discussed it here, uh, what is the difference between array list and list collection? If you both are collections actually, but list is generic collection and array list is normal collection. So when to go for list array list? If you want to perform operation group of objects of different type, then go for array list. If you want to perform operation group of objects of same type, then go for what? Generic collection. For example, let us assume that I want to perform, I want to calculate the, I want to display the uh, progress report of collection of students. So uh, every student is an individual object. So here in this scenario, I want to perform operation group of objects of what type, student type, then go for generic collection. And similarly, if I want to perform operation on group of objects of different type, like uh, I want to because array list can store any type of data, but collection can store on generic collection can store only specific type of data. So here I am using a enumerable of depart, uh, department means I am trying to uh, store group of objects of what type department type. I hope you understood. The name of my property I am giving as DEPTs. Here I will try to use read only property. So I will write get access. And here initially I want to create the connection to the database. So SQL connection con is equals to new SQL connection of here I will try to give configuration manager dot connection strings of con str dot to string. I want to create the connection to the database. Then I want to open the connection con dot open of. Then I want to pass the uh, procedure SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command of procedure name comma con so what is my procedure name go to your database just copy the procedure name and paste it here is it clear mention that we are working with store procedure cmd dot command type is equals to command type dot stored procedure is it clear and uh, you can it is not required to pass the parameter so I want to execute the procedure cmd dot execute reader the written type of execute reader is SQL data reader. So store the result of the query in SQL data reader dr. And I want to check if data reader is having rows or not. If dr dot has rows and uh, I want to 
read the data while dr dot read now here uh, this data is of what type this data is of department type so i'll try to create an object for department class department d is equals to new department of i want to store the values in the properties d dot what d number is equals to dr of 0 dot uh, to string i think department number is integer so you can convert this one to integer convert dot 2 into 32 of dr of 0 and here i want to set d dot what d name is equals to dr of 1 dot 2 string is it clear and uh, this is actually uh, what is the meaning of this here so here what is happening means first of all we are creating the connection open the connection pass the procedure execute the procedure and store the result of the procedure in dr so in our table we are having some records are there let us assume 10 ece 20 csa now here we are creating an object for a department so an object is created and here the memory is allocated for what d number as well as d name and again the loop will rotate so again what will happen another object is created and memory is allocated for d number and d name and again the loop is rotated the third object is uh, created because data writer will always read the data in forward only direction it will bring each and every record from the table and store in one object so this group of objects i want to store in another object so i will try to take one collection that is list collection i hope you understood so here i will create an, create an object for list collection this group of objects are of what type department type so list depart list of department eeps is equals to new list department of now i want to add this individual object data to the collection so how to add the items uh, deeps dot add of what is the object name d is it clear and here i want to return the d here i will try to return deeps so actually this method is returning what collection actually this collection is of what type department type so the return type of this method is i enumerable I think you already know the subclass object can refer by using what? Super class. Super class name. So here this we are referring this uh, list object data with written type as I enumerable of. I hope you understood. Sorry, here I will try to return after while loop. Is it clear? So build build the solution. The build succeeded. Now here I will try to go to my here go to home controller.cs and here I will try to call that method within this details view right so how to call the method here you can write department I will create an object for the department class department d is equals to new department of so d dot what is the method name depts d dot depts dot there is one predefined method called to list method and the return type of this method is what the return type of this property is i enumerable of and i will try to pass this uh, collection object dept ss to the view so here right click on the details click on add view and here you can select the view name as details template i will try to select the list and here i will try to select the model class as department just click on add button so the view is a scaffolding template has automatically displayed. Press sub 5 and check the output. So here automatically the department details have been displayed. Is it clear? So here within admin layout.chhtml I have done a small modification. Whenever user clicks on department it has to go to where? Detail space. Here let us. See, initial admin will log in with his username and password. Here I will give the username as Anil. Anil at the red gmail.com. Password I will give Anil K. Click on create. Now here you can see admin has been successfully logged in. So it will display the detail space. So whenever uh, admin clicks on create new, it has to go to create new view. Right. So here I will go to details.cshtml and here I want to modify this one. So whenever uh, admin click on create new, it has to go to the department view. So I will just mention here as department. Just debug and check the output. 
here you just do a small modification with an admin layout.cshtml the link text is department and the action method name is details and the controller name is home is it clear and now here you see whenever admin clicks on create new it has to this department page is invoking and return view press f5 so here you can see if you want to add the new department you can add i hope you understood right so in the next video we'll discuss about how to perform deleting operations for more updates you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day